Hi and welcome to Steve's Kitchen. We're continuing the series of the world's best no-bake cheesecakes and that's because I'm here in Malaysia and I haven't got an oven but I do have access to some wonderful limes. Now I know technically key limes are not a lime, they're a sort of hybrid lemon but we're going to use these to make a key lime cheesecake which is so delicious. And because some of you have said you can't get hold of graham crackers and digestive biscuits, I'm going to make the base from scratch today with some very simple ingredients. It's really easy. So come on, let's get on and make the base for this cheesecake. Now, pretty much every cookie or biscuit that you come across is flour, fat and sugar. So we've just add one cup of flour into a bowl. I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. We're actually using palm sugar here because we're in Malaysia. And because I want that lovely rich flavor you get with a digestive biscuit or a graham cracker, I'm going to put one cup of oat bran in there as well. It gives a nice nutty flavor. And the reason this is on the stove is because we haven't got an oven, but we're still gonna bake it in a pan. So I'm just gonna turn the gas on. I'm going to add into there some butter. We've got about 125 grams. That's about four ounces of butter. And then what you're just going to do is let this toast in the pan. Now I'll be honest, you should have probably melted your butter first, Steve but it doesn't matter, it won't take very long for it to melt down in the center here. Now, what we're going to do, over a medium heat, we're just gonna to continue to stir this, and the sugars are gonna caramelize, and we're just gonna to toast off the flour and the oatmeal. Now, after five or 10 minutes, you are gonna have something that looks just like crushed cookies and tastes the same. Now, you still need some butter to combine this together, but at this point, you can add some extra flavor. I've got some root ginger here, and I'm just going to, this is optional, by the way, you don't have to do it, but I'm just gonna grate this ginger in there. You could use powdered ginger, and I'm gonna grate the zest of some lime in there as well. This will just add another dimension to the crust. Now, I've got another 125 grams of butter. It's about four ounces. I'm just gonna pop that in there. It is melted, by the way, of course. And then we just want to bind this together. And you're gonna have what looks like wet sand. I've got here an eight inch round tin. I've just lined it with a little bit of baking paper. And I'm gonna put the cheesecake base in there. Then I'm gonna use the bottom of a glass and I'm just going to compact this down nice and flat. So who says you need cookies to make the base of a cheesecake? This is gonna go in the fridge and just firm up and we get on and make the cheesecake filling. Now for our cheesecake, we're gonna be starting with cream cheese. I've got two lots of 250 grams, that's about nine ounces times two. And I'm gonna put one cup of powdered sugar into there. And then what you're gonna do is just cream these together until you get a lovely smooth paste. So into that sweetened cream cheese, I'm gonna put a tablespoon of vanilla essence. I've got about a quarter of a cup of lime juice. Now the lime juice is good, but I also want to take some of the zest from the limes that I have left over and just grate them straight in there. This is gonna add a really lovely zing to this cheesecake. So I've got one lime and I'm also going to take a lemon, put some lemon zest in there as well. And then we're just gonna mix that through, get it evenly distributed through the mix. And I've taken 180 mils of thick whipping cream and I've whipped it up nice and thick. We're just gonna add that in as well. Then I want to take that cream and continue to mix this through until it's lovely and smooth. Now my favorite key lime pies have always had a lovely meringue on top. We haven't got meringue, but what we can do is take these lovely little marshmallows. Now if you can get mini ones, it's great, but I've got slightly larger ones and I'm just going to cut them in half. And I'm using about a cup of marshmallows. Then we're gonna take those marshmallows and just pop them in to our cream cheese or our cheesecake filling and gently just evenly distribute them in there. Now our cheesecake base has set up in the fridge. I'm just gonna take this cheesecake mixture and I'm gonna pour it in on top of the base. All of that lovely lime and lemon and our marshmallows in there as well. And then I want you just to push it down nice and flat, push it into those corners first. I tend to find a crank handle spatula is really good to level this out. Then I'm gonna set this in the fridge for about an hour just to firm up. Now whilst our cheesecake cools down, because I want this to look a little bit special, I'm just gonna take some lime jelly. Now I'm mixing it with hot water, and I won't give you the instructions for making jelly because most packets are a little bit different. Then I'm gonna let this cool down a little bit before I pop it on top of my cheesecake, but don't let it set. Now when your cheesecake has firmed up and before your jelly sets too hard, I just want you to take that jelly and we're just going to spoon it over the top of our cheesecake. I'll give that a little shake and we're just gonna leave that to set. Let's take a look at this gorgeous cheesecake. Now we're just going to release the outside a little bit 
and then I'm just going to take a knife and just run it round the edge of the cheesecake to release it completely from the pan. Now it feels pretty good. Let's just see how it comes out. I'll wiggle that off there. How is that looking to you? Now I'm hoping we can see the little marshmallows peeking out somewhere. Look, there's one there. And that base should be packed full of flavor. Now you should be able to get your knife or palette knife under there. All I've got is my knife and you, because of the paper, it should come away quite easily. Let's just sort of lever it up. There she goes. Now I haven't got a pretty little serving plate. As you know, we're traveling around the world at the moment, but this microwave dish will do just nicely. How good does that look? Does it match my top? So here's an idea. We could pop a little marshmallow maybe at each point we think we're gonna serve this and it'll look like that little bit of fresh cream. You could put fresh cream on, but I've actually got marshmallows, so I might as well use them. Pop them around like that. Does that look cool? Now I'm gonna take a slice of this because I'm really looking forward to a piece of cheesecake. Let's just get the knife in there, cut down all the way through. Now let's just get that piece of cheesecake. How gorgeous does that look? Just gonna pop a little twist of lime on there as well. How pretty does that look? So it just remains for me to give this a try. You know this is the favorite part of the video for me. Just come in here close. I'm gonna go through that lime jelly. I gotta get that biscuit there as well. Oh, crack through. Now you don't need crackers to make a cheesecake. Look at the base on that. I'll give this a go. Mm. That is a cacophony of flavors. Everything's going on there. I can just taste the ginger. The base tastes superb. Wow, you're gonna enjoy this one. Please share the love, give this a thumbs up, and don't forget, join me for the next video. I'll see you there, be good. I'm doing a whole series of the very best no-bake cheesecakes in the world, so check them out. I'll leave a link up here to some of them, and also to some other videos on my channel. Don't forget, I love to hear your comments. Subscribe, stay in touch, see you shortly. Oh,